guys, I'm back. Mina's back, you guys. Oh my god, I am so excited. So my exam ended yesterday. You guys would know if you have been following my Instagram, I uploaded on my Instagram telling you guys that my test is over and I thank you guys so, so, so much for all of your support and love. I got so many comments on YouTube and Instagram cheering me up and supporting me and wishing me good luck on my KMLE which is the Korean medical licensing exam and some of you ask me how I did on that test actually you can grade the exam paper after you're done with the test the test is two days so I've had my exam on Tuesday and Wednesday and after the exam is over it ends about 12 40 I believe on Wednesday and on that same day at 6 p.m the answers come out online so we can actually grade our exam paper and i graded mine and i passed and um, passing wasn't really a, a big deal to me because 90 percent of korean medical students pass this exam this is the licensing exam and we study really really hard i passed and the official results come out after two weeks but i was very happy with my exam because i studied hard but i was really 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 emotionally stressed and um i'm so glad that the final result is very satisfying i'm just i'm really pumped and happy and life these days it's just amazing it's a miracle i just love everyday life ordinary things are the best things and I, i'm just really glad that i can just wake up in the morning and not have to worry about going to the library or going to school or studying and yeah i'm just really free i'm on vacation now so yay <laughs> so anyway i've been meaning to do a q a video and a lot of you asked me to do a personal q a video and I asked you guys on October on what questions I should answer and so many of you commented and I tried to organize them by category but I failed to do that because there are so many questions and um, I'm just gonna go through it one by one and I'm going to answer questions that I haven't answered on my previous videos or in my Q&A video, in my medical student Q&A video that I did like in the beginning of my channel. I'm trying to focus on the most frequently asked questions. And this is gonna be a long video, I think. So the first question is, how do you balance study and YouTube? And I already answered this in like one of my vlogs, but I haven't actually like officially answered it. I uploaded every single week ever since I started my channel and it's been an year and a half and the reason I could do it is first because I really like filming and editing and communicating with you guys and second you have to really commit and make time what worked for me is I set a date for editing my videos and I usually edited my videos on Friday night that's when I'm mostly free and when I'm emotionally ready to just commit and editing videos on weekdays I just really cannot do it it's only available on Friday night and if I had like a bunch of tests coming up or if I had like big tests like the clinical exam that I had on September what I did was I made videos like I made like two videos a week two or maybe three videos and then I power edited through it when I had free time before the exam actually came and I scheduled those videos ahead of time so that I won't miss a week so I haven't been like editing every single week I've scheduled a lot of videos before big exams and when i know i would be stressed out and i would be so busy with school and exams and studying and just life that's what i did and that's also what i did for my written exam the next question is what do you use in editing and i use final cut pro x have you been to the philippines and did you consider taking up law instead of med 
um no i haven't been to the philippines um i really want to i really 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 want to because philippines is very close to korea and it's very easy to go there a lot of people go there for vacation or for leisure and yeah i'm just i really want to go there did i consider taking up a law um i once did when i was like in middle school or in elementary school but i knew that um i just i don't know i i didn't really feel attracted to studying law and it seemed so complicated and it seems like there were so much memorization to do i mean medical school also needs a lot of memorization but it's it's different you know no i just mm, law is not for me it, it looks so difficult how do you study and why do you choose to be a doctor and i actually made a full video with my study tips and throughout my vlogs, you can um, see how I study. So I'm gonna skip that question because it will take loads of time to answer that. Why do I choose to be a doctor? I also answered this in my medical school Q&A video. What medical specialty are you planning to pursue? Um, I definitely am not like a hardcore surgery girl, but I'm not really sure yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out while I'm doing my internship this year. Hopefully I can find one. Can you give advice to those who are starting their YouTube? This was a frequently asked question. My advice, I haven't, I can't really call myself a YouTuber yet cause I feel like I'm just recording my life rather than like being a YouTuber. I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not really sure if I, if I can give like professional advice regarding YouTube but one advice that I can think of right now is if you want to do it just do it um, don't think about gears like cameras or lighting or anything else just do it I mean everyone has a phone right I started with my phone and I started with iMovie on my phone so anyone can do it if you want to do it just just do it the second advice is film what you love the most if you don't like what you're filming or if you're not interested in what you're doing first of all it will show on your videos your audience will know it and, and second of all it's really hard to be consistent if you don't love what you film or edit what is your favorite brand and i also got a question asking me what's my favorite korean makeup brand and i have like a bunch of favorite brands I don't have like an overall favorite brand, but makeup wise, I do like Physiogel and for Korean brands, I like Innisfree and Edit House, Peri Para, and what else? I haven't really been using makeup for a while now, so I'm not really sure that I- Oh, and CNP, CNP Laboratory, that's one of my faves. How do you keep yourself awake when you're sleepy? Actually, there is no specific answer to this question. This is like one of the most frequently asked questions. The most important thing for me is to sleep in a regular pattern. So for instance, during these past months to prepare for the uh, written exam, I slept at like 11 o'clock and then I woke up at 6 and I went to school at 7 so make a regular pattern next question is is it mandatory in your medical school to attend lectures and yes it is um we have the attendance score and if you don't attend the class for i think um there's a certain percentage if you don't attend it over that percentage you automatically get an f so you have to attend classes what's your favorite movie um, my favorite movie is About Time. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a very lovely and sweet and heartwarming movie and I really really love it. So you should definitely check it out if you haven't watched it. How do you stay motivated and on task with your work? In this one, I also made a separate video about my 10 motivational tips for studying and yeah, you should check that out. How much time do you spend studying and until what time you study at night? And this is really a question that I get a lot, but I can't really answer to that because every time it's different, every day it's different. 
but for the past few months i actually had a strict time schedule i went to school at um like 7 to 7 30 and i studied until 6 p.m and I, after that i came back home and i studied for like two or three more hours and then went to bed so that was my schedule for the past three months until what time you study at night um i went to bed before 11 mostly 11 and if i did pass that time it wasn't because of studying it was because i was on instagram or on watching youtube videos because that's my free time at night i mostly studied until like 10 ish i think yeah what's your favorite book i haven't really had much time to read books leisurely during medical school and especially during my senior year but my favorite book uh, my all-time favorite book would have to be roots i forgot the author but it's a very classic uh, a very famous book so i'm sure a lot of you would know it and i also liked uh, what's the title of it the help oh and i also liked me before you and i was looking at that bookshelf because i have books there me and inter story oh and i also got questions about how me and i inter met and we met in medical school we started um dating on our freshman year of medical school uh, when do KMLE results come out? Two weeks after today. Most memorable experience during my rotation. My most memorable experience during my rotation is when I had to observe a liver transplant and a kidney transplant going at the same time. And the liver transplant took about 9 to 12 hours and kidney transplant took about six hours and i didn't observe i scrubbed in from the beginning to the end so i had to stand up for those six hours and that was the most memorable experience it was hard on my body but i learned so much after that day i have so much respect for surgeons i just respect every surgeons out there and the reason that it was so memorable is not because that i had to stand there for such a long amount of time but because the surgeon that i was with he is a professor and he's very good at what he does and i watched him throughout that whole procedure and he was so happy and not happy but he was very eager to do the surgery and he was so enthusiastic and excited to do the surgery and I saw someone that loved doing what he does and that was really amazing and just having the opportunity to scrub in there and just watch him do what he does best it was just very honorable and it was awesome How do you keep your English speaking skills until now? And there was another question asking me, why is your English so good? You can speak it so fluently like an American. I thought Koreans are not good in English because my school have some Korean students and they come here to study English and school fees here is cheaper. I'm from Malaysia. I actually talked about this in my Q&A video, but my English is good because I studied English all my life and particularly because i lived in the u.s when i was in kindergarten and first grade and the half of second grade i learned the base of the english there and the pronunciation and everything there english education started in america that's why i have this accent and also in korea at school you learn english english is a big part of our education and when I went to high school, I went to American high school for one year. And all of these US experiences, I didn't go there just to study English. I had to go there because my dad went there to work. So my whole family went there together. So I just learned English naturally. Also in middle school and in high school, I continued studying English. I studied for the TOEFL and the TEPS. Oh, and I constantly watch English YouTube videos. I started watching like English YouTube videos since 2007, 2008. Um, it's been a long time and I constantly watch English dramas and English movies. Those are the things that make my English speaking abilities fluent until now. Where would you travel when you have time? And I would love to travel to New York and i really really want to go to boston because that's 
where I lived when I was a little kid and I really want to go see where I used to live at the school that I went to and the library that I went to and all the stores that I went to when I was young. I just really have a warm memory of it and I also want to go to this forest that was in front of our home. There was this big forest and I loved playing there so yeah, definitely Boston. Also New York because I've been to New York when I was young but I don't remember a thing so I want to go to New York. Mm. We know that Korean high schools are super competitive. How was your experience since you had to get into medicine? Korean high schools are super 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 duper competitive and they are really really tough and how was my experience? Um, it was tough. Um, high school was tough, but I also had a really fun time at high school. I don't know what more to say about this. Um, you really have to study like every single day and high school is more competitive than in college. Like high school is the utmost competitive place in Korea. Did you manage to continue learning Chinese? I wanted to, but school life exams those are all excuses <laughs> but i do want to continue learning chinese again this year would you rather never eat noodles for the rest of your life or never eat rice for the rest of your life i would rather never eat rice for the rest of my life because i'm a noodle girl i'm a noodle addict i love everything that comes in noodles i love ramen i love ramen which is japanese and I love just everything noodle. Do you watch dramas? What are your favorites? Loki asking for a Korean drama recommendation. Um, I used to watch a lot of Korean dramas, but ever since I came into medical school, I don't really have the time or energy to watch it. But my favorites, I haven't really have a recent. Oh, I do have a recent. No, that's not a recent favorite. But I really liked in the para ilgo. Um, the one with Hedy in it and Park Bo Gum and Yu Jun Yeol. I really, really, really like that one. What is your favorite K pop band and groups? I currently really like Twice. I love all of their songs. Their songs are all bright and cheery and cute and happy, and that's just my vibe, so I really like them. And well, let me see. I also like Psy, P S Y Psy. The Gangnam Style, Akdong Musician, Ang Miu, and Red Velvet, Sonia Shite. I definitely love Sonia Shite. I like Dean, Oban Zakapa, and yeah. Oh, and someone asked me if I know BTS, and I definitely know BTS, and I know they're like a huge boom in all over the world. I didn't really actually know them before, but I knew them after like they become like this huge syndrome. I've seen them after that and they're awesome. How old are you? I'm 26 in American age and 28 this year in Korean age. And there's a difference between those two ages. So if you're curious about it, you should Google it because I don't think I can properly explain the difference right now. Do you have a sibling? Yes, I have an older brother. Where do you see yourself five years from now? I guess I would be um, on my fourth year of residency in Korea. We do one year of internship and then we choose our specialty and go through four years of residency. How do you deal with your puppy when you're not home? I live with my whole family, so my mom usually takes care of Mary when I'm not home and there are always people around, so yeah. Do you ever study overnight? Um, no, not really. I happened to study overnight when I was a freshman, like in the beginning of freshman, because everyone was studying overnight and I felt like I had to. And there were so many things to go through but after that i don't ever study overnight because that's not me that's not how i function i cannot function if i don't get proper sleep i need to sleep at least like five hours at night what are your favorite childhood memories uh that's a tricky question i have so many good memories the ones that were really good were when i lived in boston when i was in 
kindergarten and elementary school. Life was really, really good. I can't really think of like a specific one, but I really just loved it there. I loved going through the forest and school was really good. Also, when I was in middle school, one summer I went to summer camp in San Diego and that was one of the best memories of childhood because I got to just play and just chill for four weeks, three weeks I think, yeah, three weeks in San Diego and the weather was so nice but I got like sunburn all over and my face got really 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 tan it was dangerously tan and my back um, I didn't put sun lotion on my back because I didn't know that I had to so my back got sunburned and it actually peeled off after like a few days and that was really nasty but it didn't really hurt that much. It, it just peels off and it doesn't hurt anymore. I, I really loved it. I just really loved going to the beach and just playing with friends and yeah, that was awesome. Uh, what's the hardest part of medical school? Exams. Exams. In Korea, are there international schools? Did you attend one? No, I, I mean there are international schools, but I didn't attend one. What do you do for study breaks? I usually watch YouTube videos or go to Instagram and watch pretty pictures and like pretty pictures and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Or I sometimes just go out and take a walk or like a really quick walk. I usually go to Penny Dump, the convenience store, and just buy some sweets. How does residency work in Korea? Do you med students apply to the field you want to go into? Is it competitive to get into certain specialties and certain training programs? During our internship, we apply to the field that we want. Yes, and some departments are more competitive than others. Where do you plan to first practice your profession as a doctor? Country or specific hospital? I plan to go to internship in my school hospital. So I'm gonna be staying exactly where I am when is the best time month to visit Korea? The best time is I guess a spring and a fall because in the summer it can be really 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 hot and in the winter it can be really 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 cold so I recommend coming here like April, May, June or September, October, November those months I think are the best season. What is your favorite thing about studying medicine? The favorite thing is that I can study what I like and study what I'm interested in. Yeah, I guess that's the favorite thing. What do you love the most about Korea? I love that we have pedal service. What is pedal in English? Oh, delivery. You can basically get delivered anything in Korea. Any kind of food, um, you can basically get it delivered right to your door. So I guess that's one of the coolest things in Korea. What music do you listen to while studying? I mostly listen to K-pop and pop music. Best memorizing technique? One that I use and the one that worked best for me currently is writing it down. I just take a blank notebook or paper and I just write down things that I have to memorize. Not everything because then it will take up so much time, but like the keywords and the ones that I can't really memorize. Your hobbies. My hobby is YouTube and watching YouTube videos, making YouTube videos, and watching movies and dramas. I especially like American dramas. Gilmore Girls, that is my classic. That is my go-to whenever I cannot find something to watch. I just watch Gilmore Girls and it just makes me instantly happy. And I also like um, The Walking Dead, Friends. Those are my current fav- Oh, Orange is the New Black. Someone asked me if I'm not planning to film videos in Korean. I thought about this for a long time, but most of my viewers are not Korean and even if they are Korean, um, you guys speak English so well and you understand me so well. So I don't really see the point of filming in Korean. So I don't really have like a definite plan of filming a Korean version video. What was the most hard thing while studying in school? The hardest thing, sometimes you get a bad grade or 
it doesn't really exceeds your expectations that's when it was the hardest because when you don't study hard then you know that you didn't do your best so it doesn't really hurt you it doesn't really matter if you don't really get a high score but if you did study hard and you got a bad score then that means you are doing something wrong those times were emotionally hard because then i have to figure out what i did wrong but those times are actually the times where you can actually grow during those times i usually ask friends how they study and what methods they used and I try to figure out what I did wrong or what I should um, improve. If you try to solve the problem by asking people and just trying to analyze what you did wrong, then you can usually figure it out. And if you solve that task, then you are going a step further. My camera died on me two times already and it's really, really hot. It's, it got heated up. I think I've been filming for so long. I'll try to answer a few more questions. I really want to be a doctor, but in high school, I like chemistry and I decide to become a doctor just because I like studying human body and all about illnesses. Do you think I can survive to study medicine later? Of course, if you want to do it, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can definitely do it. And you said that you're interested in human body and illnesses and chemistry. Chemistry is also science, right? So you can definitely survive studying medicine. Where do you buy school supplies? I usually buy them at my local stationery store or at Costco because they have really good products and cheap prices or online. I think that's about it. What do you do when you face a slump? I try to just go out and just take a walk and I usually talk to my boyfriend about it because he is experiencing the same thing. We are both senior medical students and we're studying the same thing. So I try to ask him for advice or ask any of my friends. Usually I get an answer because we are all experiencing the same thing. When I still get unmotivated, I just try to have fun with myself. I try to get away from studying and like watch dramas or movies or watch youtube videos after time goes by i realize that i shouldn't be doing this i should be studying and that the time i spent doing this i should have spent it on studying and i realize it and i just go back to studying that's how i motivate myself these days and it actually works but everyone has a different technique so if you want some motivation tips check out my 10 motivation tips video or you can google other videos on youtube and there are tons of videos out there telling you what you can do to get more motivated can you do an updated version of skincare routine if you've changed your routine i did a skincare routine video like months ago but my routine changed but i showed it in my walls and that routine that i showed recently is the one that i'm currently using and it is still working uh i might just film another skincare routine video comment down below if you want me to make a skincare routine video how to deal with toxic friends there are toxic friends everywhere guys i mean in the world you cannot click with every single one and what i do is just i try to just stay away from those people it doesn't mean that i try to ignore them or i don't say hello to them it's not that um i just try not to engage so much with those type of people that i don't really click with if you don't really do something together then there's no problem how tall are you i'm 161 centimeters that is five feet and two inches which phone do you prefer samsung or an iphone and why i prefer iphone because i don't really have a reason just because i haven't used a samsung before but i do know that samsung phones are really really good i just haven't used one yet yeah so these are all the questions and i tried to answer almost all of them i hope this video was entertaining i think this video is gonna be really 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 long but if you sticked with me until the end you are awesome this was also very fun for me to do and i might do a q a later 
So if you want to ask me questions, you should follow me on Instagram because that is where I most likely would ask you guys for questions for my Q&A video. So yeah, follow me there and thank you for watching this video and thank you for joining the Twinkling fam. I love you so much. And if you haven't subscribed already, you should definitely subscribe. It's right down there and click the notification bell next to it so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video and yeah like this video if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys Ooh, my camera is just dying it's dying and it's like so hot it's just Q&A video, Q&A video.